Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I was just over at the scrap yard and I picked up this uh, big tool cart, which is kind of nice. It's missing a door, but it's the right size. I just uh, sold my table saw, and this video is kind of a different type of video. I'm talking about scrap yard finds. This is what I found today. We'll just go through these goodies and see what there is. I also picked up this little Honda EM650 generator. Got that about two weeks ago. Um, everything was there. It was missing the oil dipstick, but I happened to have one. And uh, that thing runs perfect. It, it needed a little bit of carb work, and that was about it. And uh, I believe the dipstick was off it because they removed the oil when they got rid of it. So I got that. And uh, if you're in the mower business, I always keep my scrap metal in that and trade it in. I had a, a junk mower and a bunch of other little oil filters, things like that, scrap metal. And I had 115 pounds. And this tool cabinet actually weighed... 257 pounds and uh, ended up costing me 40 bucks that's what I paid for the tool cabinet and all the goodies so let's see what we got this is a tire filler so I'll probably just put a an end on there and see if that works this is um, a micrometer I don't know the brand on it but we'll clean this up and see if we can find a brand uh, has someone's name engraved on it so it's probably worth something chainsaw chain took this because uh, looked like there was a fair amount of teeth on there file this one is a Heller made in USA. This is a small puller. It's threaded. So uh, I'll be able to use this. These are pretty handy. This wrench right here is a true fit. And it's made in the USA. And the funny thing about this wrench is I have the exact same wrench. I got it from my grandfather, but the half inch side is actually stripped a little bit, and the 9 is is good on the one I have, but I'm going to actually swap this out with the one that I have where the half inch is stripped, and these, these wrenches I use a lot with uh, carburetor bowls, and probably half inch, 7 16th, 9 16th, very handy to have to have on the, the back of nuts. This is a locking tire valve, and it happens to have the fitting on there, so um, as long as that hose doesn't leak, that should be pretty good. This one's really nice because it can get into those tractor tires that are real tight, so I'm hoping that works. This is a small engine tool. This is a flywheel uh, holding wrench for a Briggs and Stratton I believe I think it's a Briggs and Stratton tool 19187 I already have one of these but uh, pretty hard tool to find probably this is a speed wrench half inch and it does turn why someone would throw it out I don't know it's slightly bent and Look here, this one's an SK Tools. Flathead screwdriver or standard. What I like about this is the wooden handle. These feel great in your hand. I'll go through and redo this, and this will be a, a, something I use all the time. Another one, um, I recognize the handle on this. This one is a Stanley, and I can't see it on there but when I clean it up we'll check it out this is about a two and a half inch hole saw probably for wood might cut metal I don't know but problem with these is that the the bits always come loose and fall off 
So this is good just to keep like this and never change the bit and throw it in a drawer. Here's a file. I took this one because it has a nice wooden handle. So we'll clean that up. And when I tend to grab files, I like to grab the ones that have handles on them. And this one is a... Yeah, lighting's not great. I think this one says Johnson on it. And it's a bastard. Vice grip. Um, this looks Chinese. Yeah, there we go. Taiwan. But looks like it's in working order. This thing here is what you call a four-in-one file. It's a woodworking file, so it has the half round and half round uh, fine and rough, and then the two flats. Um, not sure if there's a name on this one. Can't see anything. These are these are pretty handy. Another wooden screwdriver, Phillips head. This is a quarter-inch chisel. Nothing too crazy. This is an anchor for concrete. Uh, I thought I grabbed two of these that matched, but I don't know. I think I forgot the other one there. Couple oil cans. These are handy. So I'll get these going. This is a, a striker for like oxyacetylene. Not seeing any, there's some sparks. I did see a flint on it, so that's why I took it. So it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Little Phillips head. Not sure what the brand is on this thing, if anything. This tool, these are pretty handy. It's a whisk, which, uh, you know, they make aviation snips. But this is good for cutting fuel line and hoses and things like that. It This is the first time I opened it. It seems like it should have a spring because my other pairs that I have, they, they aren't this brand, but they are kind of spring loaded. But this thing's so old, it might not have had a spring. But looks like it's in decent shape. And got a pair of pliers. I have a pair that looks a lot like this. These are linesman pliers. Uh, I'm trying to see uh, the brand on there. Ideal 420. So, made in Sycamore, Illinois, USA. So, we'll clean them up. Found a socket here. This one's a Matco impact socket. And I can't see the size, but it looks like a 15 16 to me. And that's what you use to take off most mower blades. This is pretty nice. A nice draw chisel. Not a chisel, but a uh, like a punch or pick. And this one is a Cornwell. So we'll clean that up. And... A square wrench. I don't know what that was just in that box I grabbed a drawer. So we'll clean some of these up and see if they uh, see what we can figure out. I'm gonna start out here with this micrometer. Well, I didn't find a name on this but it is a one to two inch micrometer and I don't have one of these so anything over one inch between one and two you can measure it next up the linesman pliers <laughs> These will be good, I'll just throw them in my truck. This is 14 gauge. I 
Not bad. Well, I stand corrected. I don't know if you could see it. You probably can't. But this says Miller's Falls. It's not a Stanley. And got a little bit of oil here. Just going to treat the wood. And what I like about these is the wooden handles. It, there's just something about a wooden handle that feels much better than a plastic one. So this will be a screwdriver that I used for years. And it's hard to believe someone just threw it out. Probably someone died and their kid or someone else was cleaning out their stuff. The end of the screwdriver is in really nice shape too. So here's a look at the uh, bounty and this is just some of the tools I got and this cutter for a fuel line try that out there's a little bit of a gap down here but I guess if you cut on the end That'll cut well. And these turned out to be, this one, the brand is Dill, more like a nickname. And this one is the Schrader Company, USA. So I have a valve stem here. Just gonna see if this will lock on. Yeah, it seems good. And this one, I don't have a, a fitting yet. But anyhow, it's kind of fun playing around with these tools. And I noticed that this drift punch was actually magnetic. Pretty strong magnet at that. And I believe the previous owner magnetized it. I don't think it comes that way. So anyhow, guys, I'm Double Wide 6. You'll have to let me know if you like this type of video. Because uh, I go to the scrapyard a lot, and I can make a lot of videos like this. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Take care.